Whether your production is driven by make to order, make to stock, or both, Batchmaster Manufacturing for SAP Business One shows you the big picture and fine details. It generates your master production schedule based on demand and finished goods inventory status. The material requirements planning establishes complete raw material purchasing requirement, making it possible for the user to schedule both purchases and production. Let's take a look at the MRP module. With Run MRP, one can define MRP scheduling needs and generate an MRP schedule. That generates production orders or purchase orders. It can be run by item, a range of items, or by warehouse. This will ensure an availability of material and products for production and delivery to customers. The generated orders can be planned, firm planned, or confirmed. Get access to detail of your material requirements planning with MRP reports. These reports provide a wide variety of views and time phase inquiries into the requirements and exceptions. The MRP demand report can be run by a range of items or for a specific warehouse. This key information across multiple warehouses or items drills down into the detail of requirements for released batches as well as planned orders for production. Additional reports such as planning and expedite reports can be viewed. The MRP planning report gives a full time phase view of all requirements for individual items, their gross demand, confirmed, and released orders. The expedite report can be generated by item warehouse range and showing specifics to ensure the buyer has access to all available information regarding purchase requirements. After reviewing requirements, easily create purchase order based on demand utilizing the transfer MRP purchase order workbench. The buyer has a full view based on item, warehouse, or vendor. This information can be sorted or specifics, in this case, selected vendor can be viewed so that purchase orders can automatically be generated, ensuring a quick and easy transition from requirement to purchase orders within the system. Let's view the Master Production Schedule module. The Batch Master Manufacturing for SAP Business One's MPS option generates production and purchase orders by making calculations based on forecast and demand. Demand can broadly be defined as a commitment you know you have to meet because you have sales orders to fill or internal commitments to manufacturing intermediates including seasonal fluctuations. Forecast, on the other hand, represents an estimate of future demand in terms of cost and quantity. It can represent a number of things, ranging from a prediction based on sales history for your items or an analysis of future market conditions that you believe should be prepared for in the present. When you use MPS and create a forecast, you define an extended timeline into which you bring your production commitments based upon what you define as your demands and or forecasts. MPS uses a mixture of demands and forecasts as specified by you within the defined time frame. Master production schedule is generated through Run MPS, which reviews demand and supply all over the system and schedules orders based on a combination of economic order quantities and just-in-time priorities. The orders generated by a range of items or by a range of warehouse can be generated as planned, firmed, or confirmed within the time frame. 
The MPS Planning Worksheet displays the schedule. Taking a close look at the planning worksheet, you can see that it provides all the information you require, be it your customer demands, forecasts, warehouse transfers, etc., and the orders contributing to this demand, or be it the sources of supplies such as purchase orders, warehouses in, production orders, etc., and orders contributing to these supply quantities. The details pertaining to each of these can be seen on their respective tabs. You have instant access to quantities like projected available balance and available to promise as well as scheduled orders. You can easily convert planned orders to confirmed utilizing this planning worksheet tool. A number of reporting options are available that emphasize on details you most require. Get a hard copy of your planning worksheet to keep it in records or present to your managers using MPS planning report. Closely scrutinize your demands and supplies and orders generated for a range of items using the demand report, supply report, or order report, respectively. After reviewing the schedule information, easily release planned production batches into production by using the Transfer MPS Production Order Report. This allows the planner to review specific item ranges or warehouses in a summary format and automatically create batches.